let's see, dx dt is equal to 24, right? Because that's the rate of change of the person. dy dt is equal to 75 because that's the rate of change of the ball. And then we also need x and y, which aren't directly given, but there's enough information to grab them, right? So after two seconds, the person has gone how far? Yeah, 48. So they're, oh, they're like almost halfway between the bases, right? And then y is equal to 150. Right. So the ball is actually somewhere out here, right? Which, don't worry, there's not a problem to that because it still makes a right triangle, right? There's no real issue with that. Okay, so now we have all of our parts and we're ready to like take this, x squared plus y squared equals d squared and take the derivative of this uh, relating equation of everything. So let's see. That's gonna give us 2x dx dt plus 2y dy dt equals 2d d d d t. Oh, I guess there's one piece of information we don't know, right? And that piece of information just appeared. We don't seem to know d yet, right? So let's see, we can grab that from these two, like observe that we'll have d squared is equal to 48 squared plus 150 squared. So that's like 24,804. So 2484, but that means that D is equal to, we take the square root of this. So it's like 157 and a half. So now we can plug in all of these parts and pretty easily solve for D, 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 T. So perhaps before we do that, let's divide everything by two. So we'll have X DX DT plus Y DY DT equals D, 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 T. And then plugging in all the numbers will get us there. So we'll have x, which is 48 times 24, that's dx dt. So we have 48 times 24 plus y, which was 150 times 75. So we've got uh, 75 times uh, 150 because we have y times the derivative of y equals d times the derivative of d. So that's going to be 158 times the derivative of d. But I don't know, I'm not gonna do all of the arithmetic. That takes us like essentially to the end, right? We can easily solve for dd dt.